All right, we're looking at Geometry B, Unit 3, Unit Activities, Circles with and without coordinates. We're going to do the construction for Part A. So I've clicked on GeoGebra here, and it says construct a circle of any radius and draw a chord on it. So we're in our circle tool. I'm going to start here, and we're going to draw a chord. So we're going to make that a line segment. And a chord just goes from one side of the circle somewhere to the other side. Now it says construct the radius of the circle that bisects the chord. So we're going to make a perpendicular bisector through this chord. And since it's a radius, it needs to start at the center. So I'm going to click on perpendicular bisector. It says select two points or one segment. So I'm going to click on the segment. And then I'm going to click on the point that I want it to go through. So there we go. So we just made a perpendicular bisector here, and it's um, this is a radius from here to here because it goes through our point. So let's go back here. Measure the angle between the chord and the radius. What can you conclude about the intersection of the chord and the radius that it bisects? So we're going to measure this angle from here to here. 90 degrees and so the other side must also be 90 degrees and it has to be 90 degrees for all of these angles all the way around here so that is how we would make that construction let's go ahead and go down and it looks like that ours was a line though so it extended further than this picture now going down to B, um, we're going to do the converse, and so we're going to open up GeoGebra again. It says draw a circle of any radius and draw a chord on it. Construct the radius of the circle that is perpendicular to the chord. Okay. So we're basically going to do the exact same thing here. We're going to draw a circle. We're going to make a chord. And then we're going to make a radius that is the perpendicular bisector okay. and now it says measure the line segments into which the radius divides the chord how are the line segments related and so now we want to take our measuring tool to do distance and let's first actually make a point an intersection point here and there um, and then we're going to measure this from here to here and from here to here. And those should be exactly the same, which should be our answer here. Um, and then you will finish up answering those. That should look the same right there.